Hi guys, so welcome to the Charlie Johnson Top 5 Exercise Series. Today's edition is biceps. So everyone wants decent arms, whether you're going to be on stage or down the beach, having peaky biceps makes a big difference to your physique. So these are my top five exercises to get the arms you're looking for. First up, we've got the single arm machine curl. So my preference for the single arm machine curl is that the upper arm is in a locked position because obviously the pad there. Uh, what I like to do here is keep the elbow tucked in, so I actually almost bring the elbow across my body a little bit rather than having it flared out, so it gets a nice angle with the bicep. You want to take your arm to full extension, so stretch all the way down. When you get to the bottom of the curling motion, tense the tricep a little bit, so this is when you know you're really at the full stretch position, and then curl and squeeze all the way up to the top. At the top of the contraction, really squeeze and hold, and then go back into the next rep. This is a phenomenal exercise for keeping a constant tension on the bicep. That's the beauty of the machine work, there's constant, there's no, um, the active range of motion is very long, so the muscles are engaged for a long period of time, so you've got a lot of time under tension. So this is a great exercise for getting particularly peaky biceps. Exercise number two, we're going to single arm dumbbell curl. So this is a great movement uh, to work unilaterally, obviously on each arm at a time. Here the real focus is controlling the negative. So as you take your hand down, you want to go to full extension. It will feel a little bit uncomfortable sometimes in the joint and then come all the way back up to the top and really focus on squeezing the contraction. My preference here is to use a preacher bench where you can sit down and have your upper arm over the bench so it's locked in place. If you don't have a preacher bench, you can also do this with putting your arm over the back of a, like a normal dumbbell bench at a gym and just put it on like a 45 degree angle. But again, this is a phenomenal exercise to take out the front delt out of the movement so you can purely isolate the bicep. So again, similar to the machine car, I almost like to try and pull my elbow in a bit, little bit towards the center of my body so you get more of a contraction, really just trying to full, feel a full movement full squeeze and really just get a big, big pump in the bicep. Here again, you don't want to go super heavy, focus on contraction, focus on control, focus on the right tempo of the movement, and that is the key to building bigger biceps. Exercise number three, we have a hammer curl, so I like to keep my elbows tucked in here. This is a great exercise for working outside of the bicep, the brachialis. Uh, this will add a lot of thickness to the arm, make them look wider. So here you want to have the uh, thumb facing forward, dumbbell to your side, elbow tucked in, curl up, and then keep the elbow tucked in throughout the whole of the movement. Again, similar with all bicep curling movements, make sure you squeeze the top, and when it gets to the bottom of the movement, when you're in the stretch position, flare and tense the triceps slightly to ensure you've got a full stretch. That's the full range of motion, and that will ensure you get the biggest bicep possible. Exercise number four, we've got the single seated arm dumbbell curl, or concentration curl, also known as. Uh, so again, very similar to the other movements, you want to sit uh, bent over a bench, and then here you want to try and get a full stretch on the way down, a little tense of the tricep, and then squeeze back up at the top. Um, the best way to try and get really good contraction on this is to do it nice and slow, so you really want to control the negative, and really hold the top of the movement, get a nice squeeze. Again, don't worry so much about the weight. This is probably an exercise I'd probably do at the end of your arm workout, just to get plenty of blood in there, just finish off any fibers that aren't already completely fried. But it's a really nice one to get a really good pump, get the muscle feeling nice and thick. And last up, we have got exercise number five, alternate dumbbell curl. Uh, this you can use start the workout, end the workout, pretty much whenever you like. I like this one particularly for if you want to go a bit mental, it's great for doing drop sets, rest pause sets. You can go heavy, so you can go as low as six reps. So here what you want to do is you want to have dumbbell each hand, I prefer to do it standing if I'm going to go heavier, because you get a bit of momentum, and you get a bit of inertia and swing. But sometimes you need to load, so you need to add the weight on there to build the big arms. So what you want to do is you want to twist the arm up, uh, twist the hand up, the dumbbell up as you come to the top, twist the pinky in, so twist your hand in and that will get a full squeeze. Again, focus on a full squeeze at the top and try and stretch to the bottom. I like the twisting motion there, it actively engages more of the bicep. You can go heavy, you can vary the rep ranges on this. It's a very versatile exercise, but it's great for building a big set of biceps and it's also great for the fun as well. So these are my top five exercise biceps. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Any other bicep exercises you want some footage of, any other secrets I've got coming up, I'll have some more videos coming soon. So please subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think.